Hello everybody, Grizzly Pig here. Welcome to today's episode. And I have been away for quite some time now. I've been doing other stuff in real life. I've been on holidays, it's been summer, the kids have been out of school and stuff like that. So I've been taking a little break and I am back again. And this time I'm stepping away from ESO for a little while and I am playing a new game here. Uh, so this is called V Rising. This is a vampire game. That's the narrative and it is more of a, like a survival game, less of a MMO. It plays a little bit like League of Legends in some ways, uh, a bit like a, a MOBA like that. And th there is MMO elements to it like the field, you, you do bosses, and you have the gear progression and stuff like that. So if any of you haven't checked this out and think that it'd be something that you're interested in, I do recommend it. Uh, you can see here that uh, uh, I'm playing with my friend here, Eve, and we are basically going around like looting stuff. We're finding chests and we're quite early on in the game. So there's some bosses we need to kill early on we need to do a bit of farming and it's the daytime now and of course everyone knows that if you're a vampire it's risky going hunting in the daytime you can see that when we go into the sunlight we actually are going to be burning up and it's not very fun but uh, we're just killing sort of low level mobs here just picking up some basic stuff bones and threads and stuff like that to make our armor and build our base you can build a base in this game yes that is right and it is all open world open pvp and this game also supports uh, private servers we're on the official network right now official pvp and what this is is a mode where you can do open world pvp anytime you want but in the weekends in the evenings i believe you can raid other people's bases. I'll talk about how you do that another time, maybe. But basically, the only PvP you can have uh, during the week is open world. And then if you want to actually raid someone and go into their castle and steal their stuff, you have to wait till the evenings in the weekends. Uh, whereas some servers are basically every evening you can raid people's castles and stuff like that. But uh, we're still going to have some PvP fun out in the open world because you can meet other players like when you're farming you can meet them when you're doing bosses or whatever and you can you can either team up with them or you can decide to fight them and take all their stuff if you want so we're we're at a boss now and if you look at top right hand corner of my screen here you can see that there is a a clock that shows you how long the daytime lasts and how long the nighttime lasts the uh, orange is the daytime the blue is the nighttime we're just about going to nighttime which is ideal for us because you, you don't really want to fight bosses unless it's a, in an indoor zone. There's, there's loads of bosses here. They're in lots of different types of zones, lots of different kinds of tactics. And uh, each boss will give you like rewards, like some books and stuff for you to learn different uh, schematics and blueprints for new armor and stuff like that. But also you'll have the abilities that uh, he's using as well. He'll normally like use a special ability that uh, you'll be like, oh, that's really cool. And once uh, once you kill him, you'll be able to use that ability as well. Uh, this this boss actually gives us an ultimate ability, I believe. Um, and and they each boss unlocks a handful of stuff, not just like one thing. And it's all part of the progression. Go around killing the bosses. It's good fun. So this one, uh, Grayson, basically puts these things down on the floor. You can see here, and you can clean them up by clicking on these sets of armor around uh, the arena and when you wear that set of armor you don't take damage from these things on the floor like mines he puts down so we're at the point here where he's actually not that easy for us we're a similar level to him and the bosses do get harder the more people you have so it's a on this server at least we're playing so that we can have four people in a clan so if you want more than that you have to sort of ally with other people so it's, it's four people and each one of those people can own a castle each. So uh, we'll, we'll sh look at that again. But basically you, your base is a, a castle heart that you have to feed it blood. And then you can build in that zone. So each player can have a heart each. And each heart is a castle effectively. So we're about to get him down. Not done too bad so far. A bit rusty with it all though because... I. I don't really, uh, this is a bit different from ESO, the way it plays, and I haven't really been playing so much. 
uh, recently, so uh, probably missing shots and stuff like that. But he wasn't too hard. So you see there, we've got some loot, that orange thing there. That's a that's a book that we can learn how to make some armor and stuff like that. All nice goodies. And we'll take those back to the base and we'll we'll learn those. Now we have drunk the blood from the boss. So I'll see you back at the base. So here we are. We have just ran back to the base now in our wolf form. We got that from a boss as well. Everything is unlocked through killing bosses pretty much. And so you can see our heart right there, the castle heart. That is the thing we have to keep alive and feed it blood so that our castle can remain alive. And then you can see also we've got all these workbenches here. These are going to be refining all of our different materials that we've been out gathering just passively while we've been doing some bosses and we've got lots of stuff here so we're gonna sort through it all well it's not so much really but it's just bits that we've been gathering but there's a, a lot of different places that we've got to put it all and this is the that was the grinder there and the sawmill and here we've got our alchemy bench and we can make potions and stuff like that resistance potions stuff for buffing ourselves in combat and some other goodies explosive barrels and stuff like that all of our storage here and we've got this all sorted you can get bigger storage boxes but right now we're noobs and we can't make big storage boxes just yet so we've got all these little chests and we're gonna just keep everything nice organized my friend hockey has been arranging it all making it so that we're keeping everything neat and tidy uh, but as we get a bigger base we get more stuff we're definitely going to need some bigger boxes to store our stuff in and right now we're just concentrating on learning stuff to make better armor and better weapons so we can get our levels up your your levels are based on what armor you are wearing at the time so you don't level your character up per se when you put on a better piece of armor that has a higher gear score your gear score will be your level will be dependent on that so you can see in this bench we can make all these weapons we can make rings we can make armor here and then as we that we'll be doing a boss that lets us unlock better armor and better work benches and this armor here the night stalker armor we're getting books so that we can make the upgraded version of it there you see merciless night stalker vest and gloves we've just learned so we can upgrade that armor that'll help us out a lot that's kind of how it goes it's like a a linear uh, gearing system to level up and help us get to that uh, level 85 I believe is the cap once we get that high we'll be doing some PvP some really fun open world PvP but maybe raiding some people maybe we'll get raided but over the weekend who knows how it's gonna be we might get get raided and lose all of our stuff you see this chest next to my character there you got a glimpse of it's like a uh, sort of silvery uh, chest that's a vampire box there and anything in that box is safe you can't lose it it's the same size as the other little ones there in how much it can carry so if, if our base gets raided anything that gets broken can be looted effectively I think the workbenches can be looted anyway they're like open they're not locks but our chests when an enemy breaks them they can take all of the stuff out of them and we could do the same to other people as well that's kind of the thrill of these kind of games these sort of survival games is that every day you make it through uh, it's uh, a, a nice bonus to, to log in and see your base there each day but as I say on this server it's at the weekend only we can be raided our castles which is fine because we can still have open world PvP we're still pleased with that but this is still early stages this base here and you can do I played this game when it first came out a few months ago actually quite a few months ago nearly probably over a year now and then they have done a big update they got lots of new things in the update and one of those things is also being able to build multi stories in your castle so it doesn't matter if you've got a really small plot of land you can build up you can put stairs and then have another layer and then another one as well I don't know how high you can build up I expect it's only like two store two floors above the ground floor there but that's a that's a big um, update there also these things here uh, those little gem things they are 
modifying our spells as well so there's quite a lot of different spells you can have there's different types of spells so first of all there's three different types of spells you can have if you look down in the bottom right there we've got a dash ability um, we're in wall form at the minute so our, our wall form is basically jump jumping but uh, we can have a, a dash and then we can have two low cooldown spells or you can have them in any combination you like and then the last type is our ultimate as well that's all that's actually being occupied by by our wolf uh howling move on the equals key there i've got some funny key binds because i use a uh, a mouse with uh, buttons on the side there so we're looking at the abilities now you see and there's different disciplines blood chaos unholy illusion frost and storm so you can see the five abilities at the top in this tree are the normal spells and we can mix those with different discipline spells if we need to the one in the middle on its own the dash there that's in the blood one and then there's an ultimate you can learn two ultimates you can learn in each discipline actually you can only have one ultimate slotted at a time one dash slotted at a time of course as well and these are all unlocked by doing bosses so you can see that because we've just started the game we haven't really got much unlocked but there's some really powerful abilities and stuff out there that we want to unlock it's all situational like depending on what you want to do some abilities like ultimates are not really that good for pve because you because they take some wind up and you get hit by the boss whereas some abilities are much better for pvp because defending you want to put out a lot of damage and if you want to shoot people through windows in your base if you're being attacked there's a particularly amazing ability for that one as well so we'll be looking to get that one as soon as possible too and the the weapons as well you there's lots of different types of weapons but basically there's a um each weapon is is good in a different way for combat but also each weapon most of them have a a type of uh uh material in the wild that it's good for farming as well like the dual wielding axes is very good for chopping down trees uh, and the the mace is really good for hitting rocks and getting stuff out of the rocks and the sword is really good for vegetation and stuff like that so the weapons also have a farming uh, element to them as well so yeah you have the, the different weapons you've got a mace you've got a sword you, you've got the axes and then you've got a crossbow and then there's some more advanced ones as well there is um let me think there's the the slashers like jewel daggers they look really cool like they kind of look like you're uh running around as uh illidan out of world of warcraft or something with two slashers are really cool then there's the there's the repo as well it's like a scythe and of course you have to have a scythe in game in a game like this as well it's really cool weapon as well a melee weapon uh, you can throw spinning scythe down around the place and then there's uh, pistols as well dual wielding pistols the guns they're really cool they're a bit more they're a bit less range than the crossbow but the, the damage output is really cool and it's quite good mobility as well and you can dash it if you've got a dash that has like a two step uh there's a the chaos dash it, it, you can dash twice with that and you can also use like there's an ability with the, the pistols where you dash as well you can put them together to get really good um, mobility there and we just use our teleporter here this is a really uh, useful thing to have there and we can use that to teleport to the, the environmental ones that are out to get around map and stuff like that so I think we're heading to another boss now so we're just going to skip forward to that. I will see you in a minute. So here we are. We are, as you can see, in a graveyard. And we are just approaching the boss that I am tracking. He is called Nikolaus the Fallen. And he is like a graveyard keeper. And he is going to give us some really nice abilities. He's going to give us two unholy abilities, actually. We've got, we got a friend here that's joined us. Well, not a friend, but a buddy that is like, he's not an ally or anything. He's potentially enemy, but uh, we can see here that we're not attacking each other. So we've got this understanding that, of course, we've, we're going to do the bosses together. He's obviously not attacking us because it's 2v1. And we're happy for him to join in because he's going to help with the fight as well and do some damage. So as you can see, we've got to clear up all these skeletons that our new buddy has just pulled and made complete chaos out of the map. 
and the problem is there's these priests that spawn and they summon more skeletons it's a bit of a theme here and the boss will do that as well and you'll see that so yeah we're going to get uh, some t two unholy abilities here there's like a, a shield that you put up and if you get hit while it will summon a zombie it's really cool and then there's another one where you throw skulls at in front of you as well and they do some nice damage but also what this guy is going to give us is the next research desk that allows us to study the next tier of furniture weapons armor and that kind of thing so this is an important one for us so you can see that uh, that is the boss there and he's doing uh, a, a nice flamboyant kind of animation right now where he's doing some summoning and there's lots of walls and graveyard braziers and stuff and that's all going to get taken down hopefully soon because we need a lot of space you can see here that uh, my friend hockey is engaged the fight and we're using crossbows here and crossbows are a lot of the time going to be the best choice of weapon because they have the the longest range with their auto attack and for most of the time especially if you're trying to do bosses ahead of the, the curve you're going to want to really just stay alive and do damage where you can squeeze it in and that's not the priority staying alive not being hit by things use your dodges in the right places clear up the ads where needed and really be resourceful with your abilities and try and land them of course on target again i'm a bit rusty here some of my abilities we lose here but the main thing is that you stay alive use your dodges where you need to and the ability we get from this guy, that is the the Unholy Ward, I think it's called, something like that. We put the shield up in front of this. It's really good for PvE and PvP. Because it's basically going to allow us to just soak. It's another ability we can use to just soak, a, uh, soak damage. So you saw the boss there. He did these skulls that go flying out. If we needed to, we could put something up to ab absorb that. Any, anything like that. Abilities that help us soak damage are really powerful because the bosses generally hit quite hard. If you get hit by a boss, you're generally taking quite a bit of damage. But there we go again with the skulls. So you can just uh, dodge them. This is why the crossbow is so great again because these skulls that come out, like a lot of boss abilities if you're at really far range you've got a lot more time to react to them see them coming and position nicely so my friend hockey has just uh, hit the tarmac he's uh, out for the count he's gonna have to run back because I've got aggro on all these zombies there's no way I'm gonna be able to resurrect him for this fight right now um, I think I'm gonna try and wait for him to come back so I'm just trying to kite stuff and stay alive myself and our buddy as well that's also joined us he seems to have uh, disappeared as well I think he's also low life so right now I'm just trying to stay alive myself because we don't want to lose the progress if we wipe here uh, the boss will just reset his HP and as you can see the name of the game is just self preservation you can see we've got more more zombies spawning on us and the bosses they get harder the more people that are in the fight not uh, by the boss having more HP and hitting harder but the mechanics are more in tune to uh, the, the amount of players you have so when he summons zombies he summons them on players and of course he summons four or five on me and if I was on my own that would be all that got summoned that time but he would summon more the more of us there are you get the picture so he's uh, getting quite low now and I just don't want to go uh, too deep in and just throw myself too far into it and spoil things I've, I've done not a bad job of staying alive here so I'm just going to keep that up and play it safe uh, my my friend is running back here now Hoppy is coming to us and our, our buddy he is he's just healed up he's I think what he's done is left the fight so he can get out of combat to heal himself up properly so if you see my HP bar there's a black element to it it doesn't represent the missing HP versus my total it represents the amount I'm allowed to heal in the fight here and uh, that, that goes that it's like a percentage of my HP left basically so I can heal that if I want to if I can drop if I can drop aggro I can basically leech my blood so you see I've got a, a blood pool in at the bottom on my hot bar there oh this is some nice dodging going on here some this is it's really crazy sometimes these bosses anyway the blood pool 
basically allows you to uh, drain from that to heal your life and when you drink blood from something your blood type changes and you get different buffs and stuff like that. that's really cool so like the different types of mobs have different blood types and different qualities of the blood as well like from zero well one percent to a hundred percent and the hundred percent blood types are the best to have of course because they give you the best buffs and stuff like that i've got road, road blood at the minute but i'm i'm nearly done so uh, i need to get my blood back and we just down the boss there and our buddy has got very low life he's being chased by some mobs which is going to work in my favor because i can take all the loot and i'm pretty sure he's not going to argue with that and come and fight us hockey sadly didn't make it back in time his bag is still there uh, he's just on his way up so he's missed it by about 20 seconds uh, the boss will stay on the floor ready for his blood to be drained for a, a short amount of time they give you enough time to resurrect a ally and then you can all drain his blood and get the get the abilities and get the loot from him so we're done there and that's going to wrap it up for this this video here for now i think you can see we've got some loot there two books we can take those back and we're going to build the new uh, the new desk the study it's called and uh yeah so i'll be playing some more of this so if you liked it please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time